My Avocado Tree, A Living Legend by David Smith. Music composed by Christina Sergi. When you love avocados as much as I do, as well as family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and one particular vaquero do, it's a luxury to have a tree who produces nice quantities from time to time. My tree is over 60 years old. It's been producing avocados ever since we moved here in 1970. The avocado crop varies from year to year. The weather is a big problem. When we have a lot of wind, known as the Santa Ana winds, which are very strong, if it blows at the wrong time, the avocados that blow down do not ripen. It's also blown the blossoms off as well as baby avocados some years. For many years, the tree would average two to three hundred avocados each year. The last three seasons have been every other year. In the 2015 and 16 season, we had over 700, which was our biggest crop ever. Then the 2017-18 season gave us over a thousand. They were up there in bunches, like grapes. We picked up some from the ground almost every day, from three to four to 15 or 20. It was better than an Easter egg hunt and I nicknamed them Green Eggs. I was able to eat avocados from November until June, eating five to eight a day. There were days when I didn't have any ripe ones, but not very often. I love to have avocados with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wait a minute, they are breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. It's the other food I eat with avocados and guacamole that are the side dishes. Guacamole and straight avocado are the main dish. I eat avocado or guacamole with pizza, bananas, on bagels, toasted or not, toasted raisin bread, in sandwiches, including bologna, turkey, ham, salami, cheese and tomato. Also salads, hash browns, eggs and bacon, hamburgers and hot dogs. It's very filling and everything tastes better. In the spring, when the tree starts getting its blossoms, I'll put a nozzle on the water hose and spray the water as high in the tree as I can. This helps to attract the birds and bees to pollinate it. There are several trees in the area to help nature do this. I've been outside at all hours of the night and early morning picking up fallen avocados. Using a flashlight, I've picked up quite a few. When those Santa Ana winds come, they'll usually blow some down, but not always. Sometimes the avocados really hang on. There have been plenty of times when none have fallen. In our 2019 and 20 season, we didn't have a large quantity, but we did have a few very large avocados. In early November, the Santa Anas came and knocked down over a hundred of our precious crop. They were early and ended up being fed to my red worms. The avocados are usually ready after Thanksgiving, the end of November, but it does vary. We still had a couple of hundred more, and most of them were good. As they fell in the wind or I picked them, I weighed the larger ones. Over the years I've done that. The biggest we saw in the past were 14 and 15 ounces. This year we had several that weighed a pound and a little over a pound. I thought these were the largest ever. Then we got one weighing one pound and six ounces. When it was ripe and ready to eat, it weighed 13 and three quarter ounces. We get some real small ones too. They do grow from one extreme to the other. I raise red worms and give them the credit with having such large avocados. The worm castings are very high in nitrogen and good for the tree and its fruit. One day in January 2020, I was raking up leaves under the bushes in the front yard. Suddenly I heard a loud thunk just a couple of feet away from me. I looked up and saw something moving in the avocado tree. I kept watching and there were a couple of squirrels and a few parrots. I tried to get some pictures but they were too high up. I've taken several of the parrots over the years, but they blend right in with the green leaves and you can't see them.
I was lucky that avocado didn't hit me. That would have hurt. With the parrots, we have quite a flock of them in the neighborhood. They've been there for years. The story I got is that somebody's got away years ago and they multiplied. Another day when I was talking to one of the squirrels, I asked him to go up and knock down some of the high avocados. He listened intently and must have done it since we got a few the next day, but he had to sample them first and had a few bites. Nature is very busy in my tree.